Knowing HbA1c levels is crucial in monitoring blood glucose levels among diabetic patients. HbA1c level of 7% is a critical point. As we know from the studies, 1% increase in HbA1c level increases cardiovascular event by nearly 18% and overall mortality increases by 12 to 14%. And we have several studies which shows aggressive HbA1c control that is HbA1c of less than 7% decreases complications of diabetes such as diabetic nephropathy and diabetic retinopathy. However, such aggressive reduction in HbA1c levels may not translate into reduction in macrovascular complications of diabetes such as cardiovascular disease and cerebrovascular disease. Such studies are uh, not available as borderline diabetes mellitus. Uh, we also call it as a pre-diabetes or glucose uh, fasting uh, uh, glucose intol. I mean impaired fasting glucose, where the HbA1c levels are generally between 5.7 percent to 6.4 percent. The fasting blood glucose level is between 100 to 126 milligram per deciliter. As the name suggests, uh, in borderline diabetes mellitus, uh, the blood sugar levels are higher than the normal, but uh, not high enough to consider uh, to qualify as a full-blown diabetes mellitus. And uh, you can take this diabetes, uh, borderline diabetes uh, as a, a warning sign uh, in the sense if you not treat this uh, uh, borderline diabetes, it might progress into a type 2 diabetes mellitus. But the good news is not all patients will progress into the full-blown diabetes mellitus. Uh, the uh, interventions such as lifestyle modification, dietary modifications, regular exercise, keeping the body weight uh, in a healthy uh, range can prevent progression of borderline diabetes into a full-blown diabetes mellitus.